Welcome to Night's Watch. If you're a Game of Thrones fan, then you know that this season is the show's final run. And so we've gathered here together some of the Bahamas' super Game of Thrones fans to find out what they really know about the show. Up first is Andrew. For the past several years, Andrew has watched political unrest, cutthroat witches, and all sorts of monsters rise and fall. But then he got tired of watching the Parliamentary Channel <laughs> and started watching Game of Thrones, and he finds it's a much more family-friendly entertainment. Next, we have the show, the host of the show, Who That? Timmy. Timmy believes that he learned a lot from Game of Thrones and applies that to real life. But he was quick to add, not the Jamie and Cersei bit, he ain't from Auckland. <laughs> and finally, <laughs> blogger Dominic Butler. What can we say about Dominic? Anyway, <laughs> so let's discuss the rules. Each round, you will be asked a series of questions. You are to write down your answers, and the person with the most correct answers at the end gets the most points. Listen guys, it's easy, it's just math. So, without further ado, let's begin our first round. Now, this was gonna be multiple choice, but um, we tried that during the referendum, <laughs> and um, we see how that turned out. So, today's topic is love and weddings. So question one. Sansa Stark has been married to Tyrion Lannister and Ramsay Bolton. But who was almost her first husband in the show? Keep your question, keep your answers until the end, until the end. My God. Question two. The more people you love, the weaker you are. If that is true, the speaker must be very strong now. Who said it? Time is going. Mm. All right, hope you have your answers, because here comes question three. Being a part of the official Night's Watch requires you to swear not to have a wife or a child but that doesn't stop Jon Snow from falling in love with this lady by season three. All right, and here comes question four. In the very first episode of Game of Thrones, a handsome knight said, the things I do for love. If he had a right hand, he would probably give that too. Who said it? All right, everybody done? Let's take a look at the answers. All right, so question one was, Sansa Stark has been married to Tyrion Lannister and Ramsay Bolton, but who was almost her first husband in the show? All right, let's see the answer. All right, the answer is Joffrey. Everybody got that correct? Okay, number two, the more people you love, the weaker you are. The question was to, to say who said it. Let's see the answers. Well, it says Rob Baratheon. We can't, that's not a problem. <laughs> well, the correct answer was Cersei. Who was the lady that Jon Snow fell in love with? In real life or on the show? Both. Egret Roll. Egret. Egret Roll. Man, are you new? <laughs> no, I, 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 I don't know. No, because I feel like she has, that's like a foxhole energy she gave. Right. She well, I, I'm pretty sure that's not her last name, but we, last name? we'll give you the correct Do we know her last name? To and number four, the things I do for love, who said it? Right before you pushed Brad on the window. We did not ask for that. Boy, please. They hope that let them leave me leave First right. round, you guys are proving that you were worthy of the name super fans. Not, not you guys, just you girls. You have a chance for double points. A bonus question. If the quality of marriage can be measured by the least amount of persons murdered during the wedding, who had the best? Marjorie Tyrell, 
and Joffrey Baratheon, Tyrion Lannister, and Sansa Stark, or Rob Stark and Talisa Stark. You may move on. All right, but the time is up. Everybody mm -hmm. got their answers? Okay, so let's see. And you are all correct. Tyrion Lannister and Sansa Stark. All right, so now with that, let's take a quick break and we'll be back with more Night to Watch. The wait finally ends on April 14th. The most watched series of all time returns, Game of Thrones. Enjoy the final season premiere during the HBO Max free preview weekend from April 12th to April 14th. Watch this and other must-see movies and series that only HBO Max can offer. Only on HBO Max. Welcome back. So our last round was about weddings, and since Timmy is the only one here who's married, um, what would you say is the best adv advice to not get poisoned at your own wedding? <laughs> Don't make anyone mad before the wedding night. That's good advice. Let's get on to round, the next round, Revenge. justice and revenge. Mm. Now these are a little harder, and for some reason, you're still not getting any more points for them. <laughs> so, <laughs> we're ready? <laughs> oh my God. Let's go. Question one. Who said these infamous words? The man who passes the sentence should swing the sword. Question two. Dame E. Diana Elizabeth Rigg has played many roles, from the wife of James Bond to Medea on stage. However, internationally, she's most likely recognized as the grandmother of the grandmother who will do anything to protect oh, her family. Okay. Mm -hmm. Didn't know she one? Yeah. Question three. Fala Magules is a high Valerian saying, meaning what? Okay, never mind. Hmm. And time is up. Let's look at the answers. You know what? No, I don't. This is not good. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> All right. Question one. Who said these infamous words? The man who passes the sentence should swing the sword. <laughs> and I'd stop. Ned Stark. John Stark. No. 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 Stark. I know what that is. I know what that is. Question two. I think I'm stuck. The grandmother who would do anything to protect her family. We were looking for the name of the character. Oh, that I, right, OG, right off from Pinewood. <laughs> <laughs> what is your problem? <laughs> 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 that's how it was like a Pinewood name, dude. Well, you know. Like, they, like, they, like, they, like a quark. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's correct. Uh, I don't know if she's for Pinewood, but <laughs> we'll let it out. I just wanted to give as much as I could. And question three. Vala Mugules means what? It's either all men must die or all men must serve. I can't remember which one. It's I don't know. I put free national movement. <laughs> <laughs> no. no. It, it does not mean free national movement. All men must die. Die. Okay. So he Same. got it wrong. I got it right. He got it right. Same energy. I don't know. If this is any, any indication, this will be a great bonus question. Oh, God. So here it is. If told Vala Magules. Oh, thank you. Mm. What is the appropriate oh, response? No, you're too fast. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> All right, that's it. I don't know if Dominic didn't look like she wrote anything, but um, that's okay. So let's let's I see the answers. It's, it's I can't remember the last word. Baha something. I have things already getting better. <laughs> <laughs> Is that not it? No. no. It's Vahal 
to Harris. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> you don't know. Just say you don't know. Nobody got the bonus. Bonus question, right? Let's take a quick break and we'll be back with more Night to Watch. A cruise? The Met will be hosting its annual ball. And we are going to rob it. Maybe you just need someone watching your back. Like a partner. <laughs> and we're on the home stretch now. And so, it's time to talk about magic. Oh, God. And for 10 points, mm. this is the first question. What was Dwight Howard's number when he played in Orlando? Thank you. Thank you. Mm. This is a very chauvinistic game. Thank you, Stephen. And I would like to step out of the ring. Thank you, Stephen. I mean, this is your chance to catch up. I, Thank you, Stephen. I, I, I was thinking I you would know this. I did not watch basketball. Wow, that's unfortunate, okay. Dominic. But I... Anyway, that, that was actually a joke. But unless you have it... I am too fast. Let, let's see. He's heard that before. Yes, the name was D12. Yes, the name Answers? was D12. All right. Well, Timmy gets the point. Timmy gets the point. No, Timmy doesn't get anything. Are we really giving 10 points for that? Here is the final question. This is the real one this time. Yeah. The Lord of Light and Death are two gods worshipped in Game of Thrones monotheistic religions. But the faith of the seven almost seems polytheistic because of the worship of one god with different attributes, each represented as different persons. Name the seven. No, hmm. Name the seven? Yes. There are seven yeah, different point, attributes. A point, a point for, for? Yeah. You know, like in the Judeo-Christian belief, there's Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, that sort of thing. There's seven different attributes. How you know this? Because I know things, my lady. All right, Andrew, so <laughs> we're going to go down the line here. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to start with you, Andrew. Okay. Um, um, what do you have for us? I have the mother, the father, the welder. The, the carpenter, son, the, son and the Holy warrior, the junglist, and the Kingsway alumni. <laughs> so I think, I think he got five. I think he has five. All right. The Kingsway alumni? Yes. Are you one of the seven? Yes. <laughs> you got one for the mother, mm -hmm. one for the father. Mm -hmm. We're going to give you a point f for the welder as well. God bless. And the warrior. So, uh, all right, but uh, unfortunately, Jonglis was in. All right, what about the all, carpenter? King's Way is, is King's Landing. So, when I was referencing that, I mean uh -huh. that within the seven, the King's Landing. That would, would still, still be in. Yours is terrible, <laughs> so don't worry about it. <laughs> so, oh, we know I lost. So, let's see. What, what, do, you, what do you have? Please show the camera. Please show the camera. Please call it off. L Love, okay. Hate. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Who cares? That's what she said. Well, <laughs> we can give you a point. For what? For what? <laughs> for what? For your three I don't knows. <laughs> oh, okay, that's all right. I, I, all right, I'm out of that. All right, so Tibby, let's see what you got. So I have the mother, mm -hmm. the father, the stranger, the, the healer, the Holy Spirit, and the carpenter. All right. I didn't so want to do the stranger because it was a family show. You definitely get a point for, for the mother and the father, one point each. Mm -hmm. And the stranger. Right. Um, uh, but the carpenter you sure? is not. Are we sure? Part. No Are you sure? Here's the answers. You have the father, uh -huh. no. the mother, right. the crone, the, crone. the yeah. warrior, the smith, and the stranger. And I don't know. But the, we, it, so we don't know the carpenter that's still a stranger. No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> 
Fun. I don't know Treasure. Yeah. She got three I know. So we, 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 I don't said, know. You said I know three dinosaurs. I'm Stranger. It's a Stranger. I don't know one genre. But so there okay, are guys. So we have come to the end. And you guys did well. You've really proven that you are all super fat. <laughs> <laughs> but there is only one true, one true super fan here. Yeah? And we're going to see who it is. And that's the person who came out with the most points. He really ugly when he's done. So <laughs> we have third place with eight points, Dominic. I think this crowd was you, you did well. Perfectly on your wig. In second, with 11 points, Obeying. Andrew. Not me. Jesus. And the winner. And our Game of Thrones super fan with 12 points all together, Timmy. Can we agree that the job was shut up in? I would second him. <laughs> is it right? They should have made that ground big for it. Thank you guys for playing <laughs> with us here and for you at home. And now our watch has come to an end. The wait finally ends on April 14th. The most watched series of all time returns, Game of Thrones. Enjoy the final season premiere during the HBO Max free preview weekend from April 12th to April 14th. Watch this and other must-see movies and series that only HBO Max can offer. Only on HBO Max. What day are we on, 12? 12 days, everybody! Wait. Do I have to say, do I have to say no fill down grab every single time? You, and do I have to say you and us together every time? No. Okay, okay.